Hello and welcome to the free Oscar training video series by OscarHost.ca. Uh, my name is Jordan Visco. In this quick video we're going to cover uh, user account creation. Uh, definitely one of the first things you're going to want to do when you get a hold of your new uh, Oscar EMR. Uh, the first time you log in you're going to land at a screen somewhat like this and um, in order to add other users to your account you're going to need to go to the administration section which is uh, the tab on the right of this list here. When we click that, the administrative page comes up, and there's a lot of features on the page, a lot of things you can do. We're going to deal just with uh, this bit up top here, and there's actually five different steps we're going to go through in order to create a new user. Uh, we're going to create a provider, then we're going to give them a group, then we're going to give them some preferences, we're going to add a login record for them, and then we're going to give them a role. Uh, and a role just basically determines uh, what their access level is within the EMR system. So let's get started. Uh, in order to add a provider record, the first thing we want to do is see what other providers are in the system. So we're going to click search for providers. Um, on the search page here, right now it's easiest just to not select anything and click search. And it'll give you a list of all the users in the system. I've already set up a couple of users. Your system may or may not uh, already have uh, two or three users in it, but um, I'm going to, when I create new users, I'm going to um, give them uh, different IDs starting at 100 and going up. So the first user I created was Daffy Duck. He got user number 100. The next user I'm going to create is going to be um, somebody else and they're going to have user number 101. Uh, different offices like to um, use their ID numbers uh, to associate different types of users uh, so maybe like all physicians would be ID number 100 and up and then all MOAs would be number 500 and up or however you want to do it but it's a good idea just to um, select a, uh, a way of doing this and stick with it. So uh, my next user is going to be ID number 101. So then we're going to go to add a provider record and we're going to give them the provider number 101. Then we're going to give them a last name and a first name. We're going to select what type they are. This is going to be a doctor. We're going to give them a special, or the rest of these things here are optional. You don't actually have to fill any of them out, um, but you can if you'd like, and they all help within various other uh, parts of the EMR such as the billing section or the referral section in terms of filling out um, different parts of the forms for you. Um, the one part that is uh, required to, to get paid um, is some of these billing numbers here uh, for physicians in BC. This is the uh, teleplan, your teleplan billing number. Um, so you can enter that there and then this is your provincial MSP number. Uh, most doctors are going to be having the same one, but uh, there are some cases where the um, MSP number and the, the teleplan billing number are, are slightly different. So uh, you're going to go through that and then you're going to go and add a provider record right there. Now when we go to search through provider records, uh, Mickey shows up right there with provider number 101. If we click on that number then we can go through and then fill out the rest of the information if we want. Um, the status being one means that this um, provider is active. Uh, if you change it to zero then they become inactive um, in the system. So let's just click back. Oh. Click update and then back. So the uh, next thing we're going to want to do is give this provider a group. The group helps in the uh, calendar view here. You can see multiple providers uh, schedules all in one place uh, by associating them with a particular group. So again the first thing we're going to do is search to see what groups are already available. The IT support group is the only one that's been created and the IT support provider is the only person in that IT support group. Um, so we are going to add a group and we are going to call this Mickey Group, Mickey G, uh, maximum 10 character limit on your group name there. And we are going to add Mickey to that, and then I'm also going to add myself to that. 
click Save. Um, and that's if I go and search through groups, you can see that now there's two people, myself and Mickey, in group Mickey. Now we're going to go to the Preferences tab and we're going to add a preference for Provider 101. Um, you can give their schedule a start hour and an end hour and a, a period um, distance between blocks. And a group, we're going to give it Mickey G as the group and a default billing form for the um, billing section of, or the billing screen. You can choose uh, whatever you'd like. We're going to say Mickey's a general practice doctor and uh, we're going to add him there. So the next thing we're going to do is add a login record so that Mickey can log into the system. And we're going to give him the name Mickey. We're going to give him a password. Uh, it's important to note the password must be at least eight symbols long and it also uh, must have at least one uppercase, one lowercase letter, and uh, another type of symbol, such as a number. Um, we're going to associate this particular login and password with the provider Mickey Mouse. Uh, we're not going to expire this user at any time. Give them a PIN code, which is a secondary password that you need to log into Oscar, and click Add Record. And then the last thing we're going to need to do is um, give a role to uh, the provider. And uh, like I said earlier, a role uh, basically determines their access level. So click a sign role to provider right there. And in here you can see that uh, Daffy Duck has an admin role and as a doctor, Jordan Visco is an admin and as a doctor. Admin and doctor roles together basically say that the user has full access to the system. So Mickey Mouse, we're going to make them an admin and we're going to add them and we're also going to make Mickey Mouse a doctor and click add as well and now you can see that Mickey Mouse has uh, two listings there uh, one role is an admin one role is a doctor so they'll have full access if I didn't want them to have the admin access I could just delete that role and if I wanted to add it back again I just go to the Mickey Mouse I go select admin and then I click add and it adds another one back all right, so now we've completed all the steps we need in order to set up Mickey Mouse. So let's close this and we'll log out. And we'll log back in. And there we go. So Mickey Mouse is now logged in. You can see um, the group that we're viewing right now is Mickey Group. Um, and uh, uh, Jordan is also part of the Mickey Mouse group. One important thing that you're going to want to know is that uh, for Mickey Mouse, when they log in, they should go to the Preferences screen, click Change Your Password, enter their old password, and choose a new one. Uh, so that it's something that only they will remember. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching our quick tutorial. I uh, hope it was helpful for you. Um, for more information, you can check out our site at oscarhost.ca um, or you can check out the oscarcanada.org website. And uh, there's a lot of great information on there as well.